What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Conan Exiles. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today. So we out for a little while and play some single player Conan Exiles. Game just came out this morning, I can't imagine that the servers are too terribly populated. At some point during the series we will more than likely transition over to- why am I shouting right now? Good lord. It feels like I'm just screaming at my screen at the moment, but I've been waiting for this game for quite a while. I'm pretty excited about it, I know I always lead off with that, and I try to only have things on the channel that I very, very much have a ton of excitement and hype for. Conan is probably peak among those. That and Deluvion are like the two that I'm really, really excited about. But anyways, let's play ourselves some Conan Exiles. I don't want to sit here and talk on the... I don't want to sit here and talk on the title screen for like 45 minutes. That seems like a waste of time to me, so let's play the game, yeah? Let's see here. Number of players. Yep, that's perfectly fine. We'll call it Flubity Land. Flubity Land. Playing some Conan Exiles. Flubity Land. All right, so we have no maximum nudity. We'll... I mean, I guess we're putting this up on YouTube. Normally, I'd be like, hooray for all of the maximum nudity. Progression all seems perfectly fine to me. I don't really know. Let's play. All right, so welcome to Conan Exiles. We got to make our character here. If you don't know what we're doing, I kind of just realized that I glossed over the fact that we're playing a survival game. It's going to be like Ark, but it's set in the world of Conan the Barbarian. Samaria. It's pretty hardcore. If you've ever read anything with Conan the Barbarian, it's a vicious world of slaughter and bloody battle, people getting sacrificed, people putting, getting put up on crosses and crucified. It's pretty gnarly. It's pretty gnarly. So, race. We can be a Hyrcanian or a Turanian. Dark and slender. The Hyrcanians are descendants of the Lemurians who roamed westward after escaping their slavery in the east by the Kari. Okay. Who else is there? Because I want to be a Sumerian. There we go. We're going to be a Samar- Oh, wow. You can be a Pict. You can be a Shemite. Wow. You can be just about- I didn't realize they were going to have that many races. Typically, you have choices. You can be like a Hyborian. You can be a Sumerian. You can be a Stygian is normally an option. Um, Pict. Shemite. I didn't expect Shemite. I expected Pict in the other three that I just talked about. But anyways, we'll go Sumerian because it's easy and it makes things simple. What god do we want to worship? Obviously Mithra. We're going to serve... Oh, he's Mitra now. I thought there used to be an H in there. Mithra. You know, I would swear to god there's an H in there, but I'm not co I'm, I'm not confident enough to say. It's been so long since I've done anything with Conan that I don't know. I'm going to take the deepest voice I can get. Just the gods are watching. And see, now for the face customization. All right, seems okay to me. I mean, we've been out in the sun for a while, so we're, we might be a little bit crispy. Let's go ahead and get that locked in. As far as hair goes, what kind of rocking hairstyles do we have? As far as hairstyles go, it looks like we've got some kind of like, I don't know, we got a Destiny thing going on back there. I'm gonna go with the top knot. I'm always down with the top knot. The top knot is what's up. If you think you're gonna mess with me, then I bet you're top knot. Let's see here, I... We're going to have big-ass fuzzy eyebrows? For sure. We need all the eyebrows in the world. Eyeshadow, I'm not so sold on. I don't think we need eyeshadow. I think we're pretty solid right there. Not going to jump in on any makeup because that doesn't... I mean, it might. I don't know what the culture is like in Samaria. Maybe you run out with makeup and that's just, like, terrifying to some people. Aside from that, I don't really care. Oh, we can choose how big or small we want to be. All right, physique. Let's make ourselves... Oh, we can have, like, big old man knockers if we want to. Full nudity. Where are the wieners at? Now you get to choose your endowment size, too. Okay. It comes from viewers like you, if I'm to understand PBS. Splattercat the Sumerian, condemned to death and exile for crimes including sullying a virgin, punching a camel, and spreading malicious rumors. Well, the second two sound like me. The first one, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard such a depraved crime in my life. Any who remove this body, living or dead, from the cross will be flayed alive along with all members of their family. Damn. They said forget your mammy and your grandma. This land does not love men. Shall I cut you down? 
It might kill you. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. We will meet again. So I guess we are in game right now. It looks like we've got a health meter, a stamina meter. That was probably Conan cutting us down. Because he's such a nice dude like that. He's friendly. Ooh, wow. Silky smooth. I was expecting to be laggy or something like that. Ooh, a water skin? Yes, please. I will take a water skin and we've got a... Left to rot among the ruins of the past. There are others here. Slaves. Bandits and cannibals. Exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence, and this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Man, why you gotta set it up on such a negative tone, bro? We were getting crucified like four seconds ago, and now we're walking around in the desert like I agree. The desert does suck the ass off the universe. I've spent a lot of time in the desert. It's pretty lame, but there's a lot of cool stuff out in the desert too. Like, whoever, have you been in the desert during, like, monsoon season? And just watched it rain and watched the whole desert come to life all of a sudden? And all the stuff that you thought was mundane is no longer that way? Like, weird snails start coming out of the woodwork. There are little creatures everywhere that just react to the water falling. Desert's pretty dope, man. Don't underestimate it. I don't know what I should be doing right now. But I'm going to walk in this direction because there's a trail in front of me. What is that thing right there? <gasps> there's a thingy over there. What is that? Is it a good guy? It's probably not a good guy. I know enough about Conan to say it's probably not going to be a good guy. Oh, that thing's definitely going to try and eat me. The shit is that thing. So we've got... A recipe for a stone pick. We can make that out of stone and we can make that out of branches. We've got a sealed water skin and a scrawled note. Look at our buff-ass yoked self. And look at that. We got a wrist piece on. I can level up. Ooh. So it looks like I just get XP for existing and just hanging out right now. What does survival do? Affects how fast you metabolize food. You know what? Let's go for that right now. That seems like something that might be helpful at the moment. No! Oh, good. He flapped away. I thought we were going to get batted around. I thought we were going to get took out. He turned into that thing. You ever see that episode of Batman, the Fox series, where Batman actually turns into, like, one of those right there? I forget what that was all about. It's been a while, but that's what it reminds me of. Let's see. we got a book. Let's curse this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire, or the bite of the axe. An excellent point. If at first the enemy tries to hit you, well, smack him with an axe. It might work out. You put a nice chisel-shaped nice chisel chunk out of him, maybe it'll help you stay alive. I'm a tiny bit worried about, see, like, we could, like, maybe use that place as shelter or something. Like, get up against a wall, maybe, and just be like, <laughs> take that wind. Can I pick up that rock right there? Oh, I can? So I gotta, oh, there's rocks everywhere. Well, here, give me some rocks then. Let's get some rocks. Let's rock this thing. Can I not pick up the ones on the ground? That's fine. I don't want that one on the ground anyways. I didn't realize I could pick shit up. I thought that, like, it would give me some kind of indicator. So we have five rocks. Can I pick up the grasses? No. I can't pick up the grasses, but I can't pick up rocks. So we got six rocks. With the six rocks, I would need branches in order to get the next part done. These look like branches over here. Yeah, buddy, we got branches now. Oh, we're doing this shit. 
Let's go. It's hype mode initiate. Hype mode initiate. I just woke up like eight seconds ago. I'm not even going to lie. I'm a tad delirious right now. Not really sure what my battle plan is, but I think we'll be okay. So I need fibrous parts in order to get that. We've got a shrine of Mithra. I'm going to call it Mithra from now on because it makes me feel better. I'm going to craft that right there. I wonder if I get XP for crafting stuff like you do in Ark. I bet that you do. So pick up some of these rocks over here because you never know when you're going to need a few more. I mean, we're going to have a pickaxe in just a minute, so... Can you break, like, any rock? Oh, shit. I mean, it seems like a waste to me. I'm going to pick up more rocks. Hold on. It's faster just to pick them up. Like, I'm sure they probably want me to have, like, metal or something like that, but... Eh! Why do, why do the complicated way what I can do the simple way, you know? Yeah, it looks like we've leveled up from crafting. We've got strength. Damage you do in melee. Agility is your ability to move in different clothes. Determines your health pool. Ranged weapons accuracy. Grit determines the size of your stamina pool, how much you can carry. Okay. I'm going to save my points for right now just because I don't know what to do with them. Oh, I got plant fibers. Where did I get plant fibers from? Bruh. Where did I get plant fibers from? Did I just, like, pick them up randomly? Oh, yeah. You can pick them off these little bushly bits over here. Well, shit, it's time for us to get bushly bitted then. There you go. Eat your way through there. Nice, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Get elbow deep in that bush. That's how we do it. We don't talk about it. We just get in there and get our hands dirty because we don't give a damn. We're manly men who do manly men things. There you go. No apologies given. I will also pick up these sticks because I might need them later. The mighty journey of a thousand steps begins with but a single twig being harvested and corralled in your inventory. All right, so we're going to get some clothing. We're going to get some goodies going. What is that over there? Oh, never mind. I thought I saw like a skeleton thing walking around, but nope. It's just a dude with an anus spike. That's all that it is. A dude with a spike through his anus because he committed crimes. You know what kind of crime you have to commit to get spike anus? Where the judge is just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm having trouble thinking of anything severe enough. Got it. Spike anus. I should be like, really? We're going with spike anus, huh? All right. That's fine, man. I think this might go on your permanent record, though, judge. All right, so a little bit more fiber right there. Got that bumping. Yup. Okay, so with the fibers and stuff that we have, so I can make some pants. Let's make some pantalones. We'll make some hand wraps. We'll also craft ourselves some, like, booties, some booticles, because ain't nobody want to walk around barefoot in the middle of, like, the rocky, I don't know, the rocky anti-water tundra. This shit just seems like it would suck. There's a lot of stuff here you could potentially stub your toe on. And stubbing your toe is one of those things that it really convinces you that there is no god. Like, if you're trying to bring somebody over to your side, we worship Mithra right now, but all it takes is a couple stubbings of the toes. And I'll sell out my god in a heartbeat. I'll just be like, oh, you don't exist. Why would you do this to me? I've been such a faithful follower. All of these years spent. Oh, we've got pants. Nice. And they come with a pirate rope. Pants with a pirate rope. That's right. We hold our hands up with pirate rope, son. We hold our pants up with pirate rope. We hold these pants to be self-evident and raised to their elevated state by the presence of a pirate's rope. Let none step before us who think that they can take the great pirate's rope from our persons. So does our does our drinky stuff go down faster if I'm, like, running? I'm going to watch the meter and see. Or is it like the hunger meter goes down faster? It does look like we lose thirst pretty quickly. I can see the bar moving. I don't know if I... <gasps> There's an oasis! Yes, we found an osis! Yay for us. I'm going to call it an osis just to annoy people. That's my entire point. For the rest of the series, it's an osis. Just so I can farm up those sweet, sweet, delicious comments. Those sweet, sweet, delicious, hateful comments. Oh shit, what is that? It's a lumpy man. Oh shit, lumpy man. Get out of here. Can I murder him? Oh, my lumpy man, die. Die, lumpy man, die. Feral flesh. Ugh, chop it from his bones, son. He also looks like he might have, like, an ex you know that problem when you, like, eat cheese and then you don't have anything to drink right afterwards so your mouth gets all, like, mm -mm -mm. 
He looks like he has a severe case of that. I don't know what you call that. Oh, there's little monkey men things over there, too. What? I can punch him, Ma? I didn't know that I could punch a dude. I want to kind of try and punch a dude now. All right. Well, let's pick some stuff up here. I need plant fibers so that I can have, like, a chest piece that's acceptable. So let's just work our way through these bushes real fast. Oh, we regenerate health, like, uber fast. That's hella crazy how fast we get health back. So nothing to worry about there. That sounds good. Come on, more plant fiber. We've got 32 plant fibers. I'm probably going to need a lot more. This is turning into one of those subsistence things where plant fiber is like the number one thing you need at all times and moments. All right, so we'll craft one of those up. we got enough for an improvised torch. I'll make some of those. The Shrine of Mithra is going to require a ton of wood, a bunch of twine, and some stone. And we don't have any of that stuff yet. However, we did hit level three, which is pretty badass. So... I mean, I think I already knew that I hit that. We can learn recipes. Okay. Yeah, unlock Apprentice Craftsman. I want all of these things down here. I want them all. So from the Apprentice Stonemason, we can get after a stone foundation. Experience Survivalist. All right, so we got a few more options. We can actually make a fiber bed roll now, and we can make twine, which is pretty sweet. My guess is that we're going to need a ton of twine. So let's continue just picking at some of these plants over here. If we got access, we got access. Can I reach up into this tree over here? I'm a little nervous about being around critters at the moment. Just because the last one I came up on tried to chew on me. And he tried to give me some kind of horrible bite wound on my torso. And I don't want a bite wound on my torso. So, is there water? Oh, there is. There's Agua Frio over there. Okay. Well, here, let's let's stay the course real fast. So we've got access to a torch. Oh, you can hold it up while you... Okay. Cool, yeah. Get rid of that then. I don't want to waste it. I'll try to smack something with a torch in a minute if anything tries to fight me. But for now, I'm just taking a look around for, like, the various flora and fauna that might be contained inside the game. We have going on here. We got plant fiber and seeds. I know you can take, like, slaves in this game, basically. Like, you can fight... And you could take people and you put them on like a rack or like a wheel or something like that. And it retrains them. So it's like Ark, except instead of training dinosaurs, you train humans. And then after you train the humans, they can be like archers in your base. And they can be like guards and they can be vendors and merchants and stuff like that. You can do all kinds of weird stuff. Although I don't know how far we'll get with that today. Go ahead, plant fibers. Yeah, we got 48. Oh, there's another one right here. We're going to fight him with fire. I'm not so com come on. No! The monsters of this waste are stronger than I expected. They have destroyed me. My camera is still jumping even though I am dead. Poor, poor me. You were killed by an imp. Because I'm just that lame. I'm just that lame. Where did it take me now? Where am I at? I learned lessons the hard way. Obviously, oh shit, there's another monster. All right, let's punch him to death. Let's go, monster. Yeah. Ooh, we worked that jaw, son. We got in there. We said, haymaker, haymaker, Mayweather, let's get it. Throw that right hand, throw that left. Beat that face till nothing's left. I know that doesn't rhyme. I don't care. You can't, you can't tell me. Other. Can I pick flesh off of his bones with my fist? No. I cannot pick the flesh from his bones with my fist. What about this deer over here? Can I punch this to death? The deer seems kind of upset with me. All I wanted was for you to die and give me your stuff. Damn it, I lost my water skin. It's not a good sign, man. It's not a good sign. We're not off to a good start here. It's okay, because we're only playing this for a minute anyways until the servers go live, and then we'll go online in a little bit. So the first couple episodes will probably be just me dicking around out here. I'll jump on a server. I'll play catch-up. Once I've played catch-up for a little while, because everybody loves playing catch-up. That is, in case, unless you're like one of those mustard people. But, uh... After that, we'll probably jump on one of the live servers or something like that. So that we can actually start making some progress in the way the game was meant to be played. Equip a tool to harvest this. Can I use a pickaxe on it? Does that matter? Make me another pickaxe very quickly. And then if I have anything else left... Yeah, craft me some, some shoes and some of that good stuff. Oh, there's a stone hatchet. Well, shit, maybe I should get on that. Pick up some rocks then. Let's get a stone hatchet, son. Let's get it going. We're going to hold this thing down. Stone time. 
Inventory is so stoned right now. Perfecto. Absolutely. Looks good to me. Very nice. I think I needed like 25 or something like that for the stone axe. Oh, we don't have the sticks now. We lack the sticks for it. That's okay. Sticks are easy to come by. We should be able to get those pretty quickly. I wonder if it takes you back to like a centralized spawn. Those don't look super unfriendly. Oh, you can jump to the side. Okay. Cool. Just in case you wanted to like leap to the side, I guess, at rapid pace. Got some stones right there. There's the branch that we were looking for. Is there anything else on this side? Branches? I'm going to punch this deer thing again. Damn it. My deer punching skills are just not that good. My deer punching skills are on the weak right now. Unfortunately, they must be on cooldown, or maybe I'm just bad at deer punching. Punching that deer in the booty. Because he acting all snooty. Yeah, I don't think that thing's going to mess with us. Oh, I was wrong. I was so wrong. I have never been more wrong in my life. This thing is working us right now. Oh my god, this world is hella dangerous. This world is super dangerous. Everything out here is the gnarliest shit ever. Oh my god. A shale back and then it spawned me next to a weird bat vampire thing. Great. Cool. <laughs> Equip a tool to harvest. I would if you would stop murdering me with small rudimentary creatures. I 100% would. It looks like the oasis is over here. I can see trees over the line. So let's just not get into any more fights during our time playing Conan Exiles, okay? I think getting in fights is probably the worst plan ever. We should more than likely just stay away from it. I'm kind of curious how the combat system is going to work as far as fighting goes. Is it going to work like Mountain Blade and like Reign of Kings? Or is it going to work sort of just like hack and slashy where you just go after each other? I kind of want to know. Because I would be I would be happy about one and the other I would be like, oh, that's kind of lame and I hope that that changes. I suppose we won't have our answer today, but it's something that I'm going to be carefully paying attention to as we get further and further into the title. Maybe in the hopes that... Oop, some more rocks. Yay. Picking up as many rocks as I can so that I can build an axe and maybe fight a guy. I bet we could have taken that shale back. I bet we could have taken him. I thought they weren't hostile. I mean, I got super close to them and they didn't bother me, so I thought they were going to be non-hostile. I was very, very wrong. I wonder if we can find dead bodies and stuff out here and, like, take their stuff. Because that one dead guy, he had a bunch of gear on him, but the game wouldn't let me loot him. Like, I wanted his armor and stuff, but the game was like, nah, uh-uh, we ain't doing that. And I was like, but why? It's perfectly good armor. I mean, it's a little torn up. It's a little baked by the sun. But, you know, I think that's just like, I'm baked a lot, so my armor should be baked, too. It seems like, it seems like we would match. We would be best of friends. All right, so let's make ourselves a battle axe now. Or at least an axe made out of chipped and messed up stone. Our guy's standing there really, really proudly considering the fact that we've got our ass whipped like over and over again. Give me some vitality. I'm going to try and get my health back up. And then from there, so now we've got an axe. Hell yeah. So we've got to build... Oh, there's a campfire over here. What's up with this campfire? Ooh. When my father died, I knew they would be coming for me. It was only a matter of time. What I didn't expect was this. To be crucified and left to rot on the edge of a wasteland that I have never seen before. It makes sense to me that the cowardly fools that they sent to do the job do not have the courage to kill me. They are mongrels, the cast-off bloodlines of slaves and commoners, and such as they do not dare to spill royal blood. Instead, I was bound hand, foot, and mouth, and smuggled out to God's nowhere. They left me for the vultures, and I was rescued by a man. Such a man, clean limbed and bronze skin. I have never seen his like in the cities of Shem. He came to me as I hung from the cross, and his icy blue stare was a challenge. 
Did I dare to live? Now I crouch at the edge of this wasteland. Once a god of princess, now a nameless exile in an unfamiliar land. The shaft of the double-bladed axe that he gave me is a comforting weight in my hands. The answer is yes. I will live. He gave you an axe? He didn't give me shit. He gave me some cold words and walked away, man. I got boo shit. I'm sensing a little bit of favoritism here. This is a tiny bit upsetting. This game is called Conan Exiles. If you wanted to get it for yourself, I got a link for you down below. If you wanted to support the channel, obviously you could do that through the Patreon that I have set up down below as well. Uh, let me know what you think about this game. Leave lots of comments, leave lots of likes and all that kind of stuff because after all, YouTube has changed the way their entire website functions. And apparently it only cares about comments now, so feel free to spam the shit out of that. Anyways, I will see you all in the next episode of Conan Exiles. It's been a lot of fun so far. Look forward to seeing you all in the future. Bye-bye, everybody.